Hey guys, Reed here. This month I'm excited to announce that Microsoft just released a new type of slicer in Power BI Desktop, and that's the Hierarchy Slicer. This has been heavily requested for years by developers and users alike, as there was no native support for this in Power BI Desktop within a single slicer, outside of a really useful custom visual from the Visuals Marketplace. So it's a very welcome addition to the native visual family. So let's hop into Power BI Desktop and take a look. So what I have here is some data that's just simply showing me page views in this case for a website by the top 25 cities. And over here on the left, that this is a standard list slicer that we have here, with the exception being that I have these new up and down arrows that actually let me go from a top level of a hierarchy, in this case, United States, and I can expand down to the city itself. So I'm actually able to navigate up and down between the levels of the hierarchy within a single slicer to get to the data that I want. And if I select this, it works just like a normal slicer would anywhere else. So it's really cool in the way it operates this way. And it's super easy to set up too. And before I show you how to set it up, I do want to mention that this type of slicer is available both as the list type you see here. And if you want to save a little space, you can come up here and change that to a drop down, and it operates the same way as well. Really nice thing is it also works with search. So even within the hierarchy, let's say I search for Los Angeles. There we go. You'll see that it shows the levels of the hierarchy to get to that. So it operates very similarly to the traditional slicers that you have in Power BI, just with those multiple levels. So if we come over here to the visualizations pane, we will see that it is just a standard slicer that's in here. And what we've done is all you have to do is actually add multiple fields to get it to function like a standard hierarchy slicer. And honestly, it's as easy as drag and dropping fields in here. In this case, if I go ahead and just clear my fields, I can grab a hierarchy, drag it in here, it automatically populates to every level that I brought in with that hierarchy. Along a similar vein, if I wanted to just drag and drop columns individually into here, I can bring in country, state, city, and just like in other visuals, it creates that hierarchy for you. So it's gonna be a very intuitive user experience for anybody that's worked with hierarchies before in Power BI, and it's a simple drag and drop technique that automatically turns it on. Now, for those of you who are watching this video shortly after it's published, I will mention that for now, it is a preview feature. So you need to turn this on in the options menu. And do that, just as a reminder, come up to file, go over to options and settings up here, options, and go down to preview features, and just make sure that the hierarchy slicer checkbox is clicked here. And if you want, there's a learn more button that will take you to a web page that has more details about this. But other than that, there's not too much else to customize on it at the moment. Um, there are ways to just like any other slicer to do sorting as well, descending and ascending by which fields you specify here. Um, but everything else is fairly straightforward. And otherwise, that about covers it for this video. If you liked this video, please click or smash that like button below. If you have anything to say about this video or have a comment for a future video, add that to the comment section down below. And if this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. And as with most of my other videos, the file for this will be available in my blog files download section, link below in the description. And otherwise, I will see you in my next video.